All right, got him. Oh, speckled trout. Now, when high pressure comes in, either early fall or late spring, some fishing can get really tough. And there's a couple little techniques you can use to make the fish a lot better. Today, I got high pressure, front just passed through. Fishing's been tough for a lot of people, but I'm gonna show you a little trick right here. Nice little speckled trout. I'm gonna show you what it is. It's a little jig head. It's called the shiny hiney. And a lot of people don't even know about it. They sell them at Academy and a bunch of different stores. And these things, all it is is it triggers the fish into striking. When this trout, he doesn't want to eat right now. He's got high pressure on him. We're only in about three feet, four feet of water. It just, they don't want to eat during that. But if you use this, it's just a trigger. It just, what it does, it makes them eat. Awesome fish. We're gonna catch a bunch of them today and I'm gonna show you. Nice. There he is. Caught him a little bit further out. Just trying. I don't know what this is. It feels pretty big. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's just a big old redfish. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh man. That redfish just ate that thing. Oh, get away from that trolling motor. I got that trolling motor right now on autopilot. You can see it moving. It's keeping me just straight where I can fish this point correctly because I got a little breeze blowing in. Oh man, beautiful red. Oh yeah. There he is. Oh, it's like he's just wearing out on me. It's pretty cool. All right, come here. This is a beautiful redfish, y'all. Look at it. Oh, it's a beautiful red. I hope he did. Oh, don't jump, because he kind of gave out on me. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, my finger's right there by that shiny hiney. Get my pliers in there. But this shows right here, every species, this thing, it works awesome. Let's see if I can get my pliers in there. Oh, there he is. The shiny hiney. Awesome bait. Rigged up with something. It's great. Look at this fish. Watch the spots on this beautiful fish. What? That is so cool. Man, it's awesome. Beautiful redfish on the shiny hiney with the Versamax cork. A deadly combination when you have just tough days of fishing. If the barometric pressure is high, wind's blowing, water's dirty, it doesn't make a difference. That combination just works good. There he is. Oh. <laughs> Boy, I tell you one thing. The shiny hiney with the Versamax cork is a deadly combination on tough days, that's for sure. Now, you see that Versamax cork? That's a generation two cork with a little bit higher uh, top on it. And the reason for that is you have a little bit more visibility. Today I don't really need it, but sometimes when it's choppy, these are a little bit better to use. Got a lot, a lot, a lot of rattle in them. Work really well. I live and die by these corks now. They really have produced very well, not only for me during tournaments, during a television show, but in my charters where I really make a living. These things have really made a difference for me. I'll tell y'all one thing. It's been very tough fishing lately, and I've caught a ton of fish right here on the shiny hiney. And all I have here is a, just a, a point with some current rolling across it. It's nothing special about it. Hardly has any, any uh, shells on or anything. Look at this. <laughs> and a redfish. I've caught redfish, drum, ton of speckled trout on this rig right here on a day when most people would just say they never caught anything. Remember, the shiny hiney to the quarter ounce with the Versamax. I'm fishing about two feet under cork, but I'm really fishing this about about six to eight inches off the bottom here. So this is what you want to look for. That's a great rig for you to catch more fish on some of the toughest days that you'll ever find in the water. Use those tricks and you'll do it.